happy Monday. It's a brand new week and it's going to be great. I just have some short announcements for everyone. Um, you might have noticed that if you eat breakfast on campus and you show up and you're not a TK, not in TK or kindergarten, uh, Miss Ronnie's been asking you to eat in the cafeteria. We're going to keep doing that if you don't have a parent with you, okay? If your parents come with you and they're eating breakfast with you, please eat on the benches, the outside benches. But if you're just on your own with no parents, we're gonna have you eat in the cafeteria. And that helps us with a couple of things. One, and make sure that you're supervised while you're having breakfast. We want you to be safe. And then secondly, we wanna make sure that our lunch or breakfast area uh, out, outside, our lunch benches outside remain clean because they haven't been. So we're gonna keep, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're going to make sure that your all breakfast is going to be indoors now unless you have a parent with you and you are in first through fifth grade, okay? So TK and K, they're the only ones who can eat in the cafeteria with their parents. Everybody else eats outside with their parents. But if you don't have a parent with you and you're at first, second, third, fourth, or fifth grade, where do you eat? If you said cafeteria, you win a prize. <laughs> second and third graders, remember, use the outside doors of your classroom to go to the restrooms. We don't want any students in the hallway unsupervised. We want to make sure that um, when, you, when you go outside, when it's not raining, obviously, when you go outside, um, you know, we can see you. We can see who's out there. When you're in the hallway, we can't see. So we want to, again, we want to make sure you're supervised and you're taken care of. So make sure that you're using the outside uh, doors to exit to go to the bathrooms. And remember, in that hallway, we have teacher restrooms, and on the outside, we have student restrooms. Which ones are you supposed to use? If you said outside, you win a prize. First and second graders, I'm noticing that a lot of you bring snacks for first recess. That's a wow. So if you have a snack, you're invited to bring a snack, and you're also invited to eat it on the maps, the maps or the tables that are um, in front of the, the grass next to the bungalows. So that's where you're supposed to eat snacks. Not over, not on the playground, not by the handball court, but on the maps. So remember, when you bring out a snack in the mornings, make sure that you eat it on the what? If you said map, you win a prize. My dear friends who are attending the after school programs like RAP and Kids Club, I've been noticing that after school, even after we've cleaned up the playgrounds, that there are sweatshirts and jackets and sweaters that are left on the blacktop. So remember, if it's too warm, you don't have to wear your sweatshirt. You can put it in your backpack. You can tie it around your waist. You can even leave it in the room where you go to do your wrap program but you are in charge of it, nobody else is. So please do not leave your sweatshirts or jackets or sweaters on the blacktop. That is one of those safety things that I feel very strongly about. I cannot have students tripping on those or even just making our playground look yucky. So please make sure that you take care of your outerwear and keep it, keep it on you at all times. Got it? Good. And fifth grade students, I have a very special message for you. I know that a lot of you, your parents, for whatever reason, have provided a cell phone for you so that you can be in contact and communication with them. And that's, that's okay. So um, when you have a cell phone, make sure that you're just using it to be reaching out to your parents, not for any other reason. We're not watching videos on it. We're not shooting videos on them. We're not doing anything else that's going to keep our campus unsafe. So again, you can, you can use it before school, after school to reach, to contact your parents or your parents contact you. We do not use them during the day for any reason. They don't go out to the playground. They don't come out in your pocket. They don't even go inside your desk. They stay in your backpack turned off so that they're not a distraction for anybody and to make sure that we are maintaining our campus safe. And the other thing, if something happens to your cell phone, we are not responsible for that. The school is not responsible for it. That's between you and your parent, okay? 
The only time we become responsible for your phones is if you've lost your privilege to have a phone on campus and then we have to hold it in the office. So you don't want to get to that point. So make sure that you keep it off and put away in your backpack. If you said backpack, you win a prize. Turned off and in your backpack at all times. After school, you may you turn it back on to contact your parents before school if they want to check in with you to make sure you're doing fine. They can you can do that, but we're not taking videos, we're not watching videos, we are not um, taking photos of friends, none of that. Understand? Good. If you are found doing any of those things, you, you are going to have some major restrictions uh, put on you and even some consequences. I've suspended students in the past for misusing, for using their phones inappropriately. So be sure that you are making, that you are keeping your phones in your backpacks at all times. Do not take them with you to the bathrooms. Don't do anything else. It's in your backpack turned off. Good. All right, Beavers, let's have a wonderful week. Let's give it our best. This is our last week with iReady. Isn't that great? And um, I know that you've all done your very best to complete those iReady assessments. There are a few other assessments that you're still working on, and that's okay. We have some assessments at the beginning of the school year because we want to we want to see what levels you're at, and we want to know how we can support you. Your teachers want to know um, how you're coming into the classroom with your with, what knowledge you're bringing into the classroom, so that we can build on your knowledge and um, you can contribute because you're all very sharp, smart kids. So have a wonderful week. Let's make safe choices and let's make the best choices that we can make to be respectful, to keep our campus uh, clean and safe, and to make sure that we're including other people in the ways that we are playing. And I know that you do a really good job of that. That's why I love this school. See you around.